Hi, and welcome back to M Plus Workshop 5. Let's now look at Demo 17. And uh, first thing I want to do is show you the data from HSB2. So uh, first of all, this, let me show you the link. This is the link to the IES, National Center for Education Statistics website, which talks about the HSB data set. So this is typically uh, used for research uh, students, and it's a longitudinal study, and they even have had follow-ups. see if I can show you this. A fifth follow-up uh, has been released in February 2020, so it is still an ongoing uh, data collection. But we're just using a sample from this study, and it is here. So we have, I believe, 200, yes, 200, a, a sample of 200 students, and we have test scores. We have some demographic information, and then we have some test scores. And let's see, let me switch. This is, again, the SPSS data set. And, okay, here we go. So we have the ID uh, indicator for female versus male, indicator for race, SES, the school type, um, the type of program, and then reading scores, writing score, math score, science score, and social studies scores. And so, for example, to understand what school type is, you can see that it's coded one versus two, and program, general, academic, or vocational, one, two, or three. Those are important because if you're wanting to do any type of analysis, using uh, those which are um, basically um, nominal variables, you'll need, need to do some dummy coding uh, on that. And so I actually did that. I provided a recoding of the school type, and it's public. I have, don't have this information here, but if you can look. Um, so when school type is one, public is one, but when school type is two, which is a private school, I actually have it coded as zero. That is much more conducive to being able to do analysis using a, a categorical variable. All right, so then I save this. Remember how you do that? You can either save or export. I export it to, um, I, to a tab delimited file. And remember, you don't want to write the variable names to the files. You want to make sure you check that so it's, you know, click that so it's not checked. And I did all that, and I have a data set. Oops, this is the wrong one. All right, now I fixed that. So this is the HSB2 data set. This is the uh, .txt file that will be used as the input file for SPSS. So now I'm going to go back to my input file called Demo17. This demo 17 is an example of moderation. So I'm wanting to know if um, there is a predictive effect of the math score on reading. And specifically, I want to know if that predictive uh, effect changes or varies according to the level of social studies scores. So I don't actually expect that math scores um, have a causal effect on the social studies scores, which have a causal effect on the reading scores in this. That's not my hypothesis, but I do think that I do have an expectation that that perhaps uh, the math score will will vary based on social studies. So um, there's some sort of moderating effect there. Um, is this is sometimes described as an interaction effect? Um, so math is a significant predictor of reading scores, but is the variable representing the interaction a significant predictor of reading scores? So to do this, we have to actually create an interaction variable. And I didn't do this in SPSS, so I need to do it here. Remember, we can use the define command. I'm going to call it math underscore SS, and it's just the, the product of math times SS, where SS is the, um, the social studies scores. And as soon as I create that variable, I actually have to put it back into my use variables uh, line under the variable command. Um, I'm going to use maximum likelihood uh, robust standard errors estimator. And then my, here's my model. 
I'm going to uh, regress reading on math, social science, social studies, and then the interaction. I'm going to end my output. I'm asking for sample statistics and for standardized values. All right, I'm going to save it and run it. Okay, let's take a look at our results. Nice thing again about um, asking for sample statistics is that you will get the sample statistics for the variables in your use variables command. All right. Okay, here we go. So we can see that um, reading is not statistically significant once you put in math SS. Let me go ahead and regress this. Uh, math reading just on math. I uh, probably should have done that first, but I'm going to go back now and do that. So I'm going to exit out of here and I'm just going to put a exclamation point right there and a semicolon right there and redo this. All right, so now it's a really super simple um, regression. So there, uh, just going backwards and showing you that reading math is a significant predictor of the reading score and it predicts 44% of the variance in reading. Okay, so now I'm going to go back, do this, run. Okay, so, um, so now we see that math is no longer significant and social studies on, it, on its own is no longer predictive, but definitely that interaction term is a significant predictor. And so always with moderation, the next question is, how do we interpret this? Because um, that's kind of the most difficult thing about moderation is interpreting the results. And in when you do this in SPSS using the process um, macro, or if you even, you can you do use regular linear regression if you create your interaction term in SPSS, oftentimes the technique to use is to uh, use graphing in SPSS in order to come up with, uh, let me show you, where is it? All right, there it is. To come up with a graph of um, what the interactions look like. So what you want to do is you want to show the effect of math on reading. So this shows that as the math scores increase, reading scores increase, that is um, what our model is telling us. But it also shows us how this is different for different levels of this. I actually call this a different variable, but this is a social studies. Um, so for uh, lower levels of, of um, social studies, the change or the, the um, slope of this line is different. For higher values of social studies, it's a much steeper slope. So the, the reading score increases at a much higher rate uh, rel relative to math for students who have also higher social studies. Okay, so this is really super and great. And you could use your, your predictive model to come up with, calculate the uh, social studies, I'm sorry, sorry, the reading score based on your input of math and social studies. Now you could, you could plot these, it's not a problem. But you can also do this directly in M+. And so to do that, I'm actually going to open up the input file called demo17plots. There's a lot more syntax here. So this particular step called model constraint is really useful for being able to show um, how uh, the co what the coefficients look like and kind of to, to help you interpret the results. So all of this is the same up until the model step. Okay, in the model step, actually break this model step down into each portion of it. So reading on math, reading on social studies, reading on the interaction term. And this, when you put something in parentheses, it tells M plus to save that coefficient as a variable. So now we actually have a variable called B1 that is the coefficient. Um, when you uh, regress reading on math. B2 is the coefficient of social studies. B3 is the coefficient of the interaction term. And when I put this reading in brackets, that's, that's going to uh, give that term, which is the intercept, 
um, and then assign it to a, a variable called B0. Reason I want to do that is because I'm going to put together these model constraint steps. So model constraint, I, I suggest that you go back into um, your M plus materials and read about this, but it is a technique for assigning, um, it's a little routine that provides you with a way of graphing. So here, it, here are my, um, some of my new variables. I'm going to actually assign the low social studies, medium social studies, and high social studies values of 25, 50, and 70. Um, and then I'm going to uh, actually calculate the uh, reading score um, based on that. And then I go on to say I'm going to plot these, low mod, medium mod, high mod. This tells it me to go, tells it to go through and determine the x value, or use the x value at 40, 60, and in increments of 10, and then do the calculation of the um, values for these uh, um, graphs. Again, I'm allowing that I'm asking for type equals plot two, which will give me those and the same output values. So now I'm going to say this and run it. And down here, well, there we don't see any difference. Well, that is exactly the same. I have these new parameters that I've calculated. And what I want to do then is actually to look here. I'm going to look into in this plots. I could look at it there or here to view the plots. And I'm going to look at one at a time. And you can see that I have the same graph. And I'm going to show this. It, this is actually shown uh, here uh, in the PowerPoint. I have the same graph as I did when I put this in, 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 sorry, in SPSS. And what it has, it has the line and it also has a confidence interval around it. So that's just for uh, what's called low mod. And I can actually do all my plots in the same window. It's a little messy for that. So you have the green, the blue, and the red, and I apologize. I, I think there's a way, I know there's a way to change the colors on this. It's a little uh, messy, but you have the basic idea that for um, low social study scores, the rate is slower. So the plot, the, the I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't seem to come up with the word. The slope is smaller and as the social studies scores increases the slope that relates math to reading increases and at the highest level it's very high and uh, i'm not sure why i think maybe this is even an incomplete i wonder if i ch yeah there it is okay so that uh actually wasn't even showing all the values so um, this would be very useful if you're wanting to uh, include this in your publication. So that's all for uh, Demo 17 and Demo 17 plots on moderation. And that's all for this video. And we'll continue on with the next.